area called Tech Square, which didn't exist at the time, was a dilapidated area on the east side of campus. And it had been cut off from Georgia Tech when they built the freeway back in the 50s and 60s that separated Georgia Tech from Midtown. And when I came to Georgia Tech, one of the interesting things I found was that I worked with the downtown authority for Atlanta, and they had a map. And their map ended at North Avenue, which is a south boundary of our campus. So they didn't show Georgia Tech on their map. The, the Midtown Alliance, which is a very progressive alliance for the Midtown part of Atlanta, had a great map, and it ended at the freeway, and it didn't show Georgia Tech. And I thought, that's odd. Nobody wants to claim Georgia Tech. And I got a little angry about that, and then I realized it's probably our fault because we had cut ourselves off from those two areas of Atlanta, and we needed to do something about that. So we developed the four points of the compass strategy to address each one of our neighborhoods. And on the east side, it was to go across the freeway and build Tech Square. It was really a very bad area. One of the interesting things we noted, there were a lot of for sale signs. And so we said, if we could buy the property, we could do something about it. And fortunately, our foundation was in a position where it could really help us, and we worked with the foundation, and we began to buy those properties. At some seminal point in the process, we were thinking, because of money restrictions, we, we knew, quote, what we could do. And one of our foundation trustees, Tom Gossage, stood up in a meeting and said, Dr. Clough, good plan, but you're thinking too small. And he was right. And so we really had to almost double the size of the project to make it big enough to have the impact that it would need to really change and transform the neighborhood. Lots of people contributed to the project. Lots of folks contributed to the project. Our design team, the folks at Georgia Tech, uh, the foundation, the city, the state, and Midtown all contributed. Our foundation really stepped up to the bar and provided the money, the seed capital, for us to get this done. We're paying them back with revenues and gift monies that came from donors uh, to do the project. But we couldn't have done it without them. And uh, it was just a big step with some great support, moral support, on the part of Midtown and the part of the city and then the willingness to do things in and around it that uh, help improve it. The bridge clearly was a symbol of the partnership, a symbol of Georgia Tech going into the neighborhood that had been abandoned. The freeway cut it off, basically, and that part of Atlanta died. And so the idea was to go back in a strong way. And Georgia Tech is the, the best anchor tenants you're ever gonna get. But businesses come and go. Georgia Tech doesn't come and go because Georgia Tech will be there for a thousand years. And so the city knew that, the city was very helpful to us in getting this project done, and they welcomed it. And Midtown put us on their map. So we became a total partner with Midtown. They embraced it, uh, and everybody really got together and loved it. And as a result, multiple things happened and sprung out of that. And the city, for example, decided to redo Peachtree Street, which is very nearby, uh, with, with beautiful streetscaping. So everybody contributed some. Midtown uh, added more and more uh, facilities in and around there. And so it just enlivened the whole concept. And at the end, one of the things that made us all very proud was the Urban Land Institute, which judges things like this, gave us one of their grand conceptor awards. And I went to New York City and accepted it on behalf of the team that built it in Georgia Tech. And what was interesting, we were just tiny project. Some of these projects were billion dollar projects, right? Huge thing. But what they said was this was a project of significance, elegant solution, and it transformed the neighborhood. And that was the transformative effect was what we were recognized for. I think about all the people who stepped forward, put their shoulders against that wheel. We couldn't have done it without dozens and dozens of people. You know, my personal staff, Bob Thompson and Steve Swan, and folks like that who were very creative in terms of thinking about this project. The, uh, the support we got from the Georgia Tech Foundation was remarkable. The team that we worked with, the design and construction team, we worked together in a joint teamwork approach. We couldn't have gotten it done in three years if we hadn't had a teamwork approach. And so, so many people made the difference at so many different points. There were all these moments where you thought you were gonna collapse, you know, it wasn't gonna happen. So, and I think about all the people who sustained me and sustained the project through these times. And it was just a great, great team effort.